good day dear friends we want to thank medicine 360 for this opportunity we are showing you a very interesting case dr chandra is with me on my left side and dr abhinav is on my right side myself dr nagendra singh chauhan so dr chandra is suffering from laryngitis so he is unable to speak clearly but uh, he is with us for all the procedure the case is very interesting case of 56 year old male he is a rheumatic heart disease patient he underwent double wall replacement in 2010 13 years back two perimount valves one 29 size in mitral position and 23 size in aortic position now he came with the aortic wall and mitral wall degeneration he was symptomatic for few years now he is severely symptomatic his mitral wall is synotic and ligand in both with a mean gradient of 10 and moderate mr and aortic wall also has moderately severe mr ar and mild as so he is planned for double wall replacement so he was referred to surgeon considering his age of 56 years Uh, they have done a ct scan and they found that the ra is totally uh, very close to the anterior septum and almost uh, fibrous with the chest wall so they are considering it a high risk considering the chest opening will be difficult and ra rupture will be high likely so we are planning for a double wall replacement by percutaneous suit so plan is to replace both the valves with balloon expandable my wall so uh, now we can show you the how we are proceeding so plan is that we should start with the mitral valve first because it's a synotic valve and then we will proceed the aortic valve both are very close in position we have done a ct scan which showed that the neo lvot is 330 if we use a 29 size valve so we are very safe in mitral position only issue is that auto mitral distance is very small so we have to place aortic valve almost zero or one position and mitral valve also we should be cautious in positioning it slightly shallow so this is the plan now we are going with the puncture you can see we are going with a septal puncture here and dr chandra has positioned the edge the molin sheet and you can show the see the echo also on echo we are positioning the edge, the molin sheet for the puncture it's mainly mid posterior position you can see now it's quite posterior so we have done tried to puncture it but we were unable to puncture so we have to use a coronary wire the sharp end the opposite end of coronary wire to support this so now this is the coil wire placed in the la and then we have done the dilatation with the molin sheet and then we have placed an edgeless sheet inside now this is edgeless sheet inside and with the next now with the help of a pig tail we are crossing so we are mainly using a pig tail without a wire because we don't want to cross to the cordy so this is how this is done and then the safari wire is placed in the left ventricle now next next phase is to dilate the septum so we dilated with a 12 12 mm balloon so to so that we can cross the septum without a problem and now we are ready with the valve you can see the valve is loaded opposite so that the skirt is on the opposite side so that the in mitral position this will work nicely so now we are going in so valve is also loaded opposite and the delivery loader is also kept opposite so that we can bend opposite side because the now the band is opposite to the aortic band so the best part of this valve is that we don't have to reload it because it's already loaded on the valve so you don't have to reposition it we just have to position it across the valve and inflate it so the procedure is very simple and fast so we just support the valve with the pulling of the wire now the valve is in so now the pacemaker is also there so we have to pace it a very half fast it so it should move so slightly more ro plain ro remove cranial more cranial so you can see now that we are almost at 0 1 position so 80 20 is a very good position yeah this is good mr santosh with help for will help us for the pacing so this is very important step here that we have to pace at 180 so that wall should not move and there should be a stand still in cardiac output so that we can position pace at 180 facing the pressure has come down the mean pressure is below 50 we are going up slightly in we are going up going up facing off so valve is done pressure is coming up 100 i think position is good we are planning for a zero like not very deep valve so it's very well positioned fully flared on the both side now we can see the echo the can you see the echo i think there is pressure is very well stable so now we have to remove this wire and then we have to plan for the aortic valve you can see the echo gradient now mitral gradient is 
normal wire. Three mean gradient of three, which is really good for sure, this patient. Sure, right. Can you see the echo images? Now we are removing the pigtail. So this procedure is done. Now we have to start with the aortic one. There is some septal leak because of the artificial ASD, but I think that can be acceptable because of left to right shunt. And he's quite young for future procedure. We may be needing this septum, so we are not closing it. And valve is working fine now. AP, AP, AP. AP. Now we'll go with the wire. So now we are planning for the aortic valve. So first we have to position the sheath inside. So we have already punctured, fluoro guided, and one proglide is already in. So now this is a 23 size perimount valve. Uh, so we are planning for a again 23 size my valve which uh, uh, will give us a good seal and uh, we will go with 2cc extra for a good uh, flaring of the valve so that the both sides will be fully flared and position will be good the plan is to position at a shallow position maybe 1 mm or 2 mm so that will not impinge on the metal as we have already discussed we have used a 29 metal for this 29 mm perimount yeah this is a Indian company from Merrill, which is pro providing these valves. These we are using these valves for now, uh, very long, like almost uh, more than three, four hundred cases we have done, and the valve performance is good. This my valve from Merrill company is uh, as good as any other balloon expandable valve. So our experience gives us this confidence that we can use this in any of the equations now. So this is a Python sheet from Merrill again. This is again a expandable sheet. So first we have to dilate it, and then we'll go with this expandable sheet so patient is maintaining good hemodynamics pressures are okay and dr manish can show us the echo images of aortic valve uh, how much is the lee aortic leak and how much is the gradient so you can see the degenerated valve one of the leaflet is moving others are not moving much so we will dilate it with the 18 fan sheet first the process is almost same so first we will dilate it with 18 so that the sheet will be opened so that we will not have to force too much the valve when we are going in because sometimes if the sheet is not fully dilated it causes problem and you have to push too much on the valve which can cause some damage to the valve structure so now it's fully dilated the aortic valve is very small but patient's height is also not very big so there's no chance of any ppm so we are not worried about that so, so we're not planned for a fracture of the valve we'll go with a normal valve in valve procedure coronary arteries are quite high 14 and 16 so that also is not a major issue the VT, coronary artery to valve distance is also five millimeters and the sinuses are quite big so we are not worried about even coronary issue also and this is a small valve as balloon expandable so for future excess is not a major issue. So normally we use thermo wire, but wall in wall sometimes Teflon is more beneficial. So we'll see if this works, it's okay. Then we'll use a Teflon wire. So this is a straight tip Teflon thermo wire to cross the prosthetic aortic valve. Can you pull the T probe? Dr. Manish, can you pull the T probe first? It's coming in front of us. So yeah, so crossing a prosthetic valve is more difficult than crossing a native valve because generally the Commissures are fused and you have to enter from the central point. So you can see the aortic metal distance is very small. The valve is crossed. So this is a normal exchange length Teflon wire. So this will help us place the pigtail inside and the pigtail will help us place this hard wire inside the LB. RO, RO, 6 and caudal 14. More caudal, caudal more, more caudal, more RO. Yeah, I think this is good. Very good. Center. So this is a coplanar view. LAO 11 and caudal 22, save it. Check pacing once again. TP is slightly moving, so we will just check it again. So again, the safari wire. We are using the same safari wire. The strength is maintained, no major band. So in wall mid wall, generally the major issues are about coronaries and PPM. So those are the things we have to check before we are going in. So most of the things are done on the CT table when we are doing the CT to see the coronary artery and size and the wall size. And PPM is depending on patient's BSA. So in this case, chance of PPM are negligible because BSA is not big. This time you have to position the valve in a normal position because we are going for the aortic. So this is a 23 size my valve from the Merrill and we are going with 2CCF for good flaring. So for this 23 size perimount valve, internal diameter is just 21. So we can even use 21.5, which is also available in Merrill valve. But this is more safe. You can see the force required to push the valve. That's why you've done the dilatation with the 18 size sheet. And this is the preloaded valve on the balloon. So 
it's quite easy to position it without any repositioning of the balloon and the wall. Cross screen. Yeah, again. Yeah, I think this is good. Yeah. So we may have to pull it slightly. We want to be slightly more shallow. I think this is okay. Sena, Sena. Mr. Santosh, are you ready for pacing? Can you show the other view so we can see the metal wall and or take wall interaction? More relay, more area, more area, more area, more area. And once we dilate it, it will short shorten from both sides. So I think we'll be good. Position is okay. Just checking. Okay. So this is a good position. 80 okay. 20. Okay. Pacing, pacing on. Pacing on. 180. Pressing on. Pressing on. Pressure coming down. Below 50. We are going up. We are done. Stop pacing. So it's cool, fully flared wall. You can see the wall is flared. We are out. Pressure is coming up. 90. Can you see the echo? Yeah, you can see the wall. This is the metal wall. Very well functioning. And the aortic wall also is visible. I uh, have to see, although there is some shadow because of the metal, so very close to the metal. Just impinging, but the, I think right position. Wall functioning is good. We have to measure two things. First is PVL, and second is LVOT gradient. So there is some valvular leak because of the wire. I think that's not an issue. We just have to check for the PVL. If there's no PVL, we'll remove the delivery system. So Dr. Manish would confirm with us. No PVL, we'll remove it. Just confirm it that in the meantime, we are removing the... So ECG is very stable. There is no hard block. The QRS is same. Then you tell us about the LVOT gradient also of this wire. We'll remove this wire and we'll put a pigtail inside. So can you show us the gradient for aortic wall now? So it looks like mean gradient is around four or five. So no PVL, no AR, mean gradient of four. And LVOT gradient also he will show us. Okay, me, we get into six. Mean was six. Okay, aortic for this wall, I think six is a good gradient. A single digit number is very good for aortic wall. This is aortic. Yeah, metal was four and aortic is six, so it's acceptable. And there's no albuotic gradient. So till now we have not given any dye, and now we are asking our anesthesia colleagues to extubate. So if they can expedite extubation, patient can be extubated and plan for discharge tomorrow. The ECG is fine, hemodynamics is stable. We just have to fix the femorals. If there is no femoral issue, patient is very stable. Ario, more Ario. Yeah, procedure is done. Yes, that's good. So, fully aligned. The aortic valve is fully aligned. But mitral is coming in between. So, I have more, 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 more. Show us LV, non mag, shoot. You can see no leak. Coronies are feeling fine. And the position is very good. We are done. And the dilator. Now we have to remove both the sheets. I think this is the most important part. We have to check that we have maintained the hemostasis. No issues about femorals. And then only the work is done. This arterial venous. Yeah. First, we'll remove the arterial. So you can see both the 14 French sheets in the, both the groins. So arterial, we have placed one proglide as pretty close. So we'll use that. And if required, we will use a eight French NGO seal. So Dr. Nair is doing all the hard work and there's some leak because we just used one proglide because the vessel size is just six. So we don't want to do some obstruction to the vessel. So one proglide and one NGO seal would be a good choice in these situations. Dry gauze, you can see, almost closed. So I think that's okay. Eight French NGO seal, prota, 50 prota, half dose prota for the parent that will be sufficient so 30 seconds and we are done with the aortic leak we'll just check with the opposite side that the hemostasis is achieved and then we'll remove the venous sheet rc with turmoil so turmanish echo by everything is fine so both the words are working fine there is no looks like hemostasis achieved but we'll double check it with the opposite side press it for two minutes venous sheet is also out figure away suture for most stresses of the vein. So this is the last shot for this patient. Yeah, there is some narrowing, but I think it's acceptable. Flow is good. 
there's no flow restriction. This is some spasm also. This will work. Once so, explained, Janjo Seal. So, so with this, we are done. We want to thank you for this opportunity. Roshanda also want to thank. And this is a good platform where we can share many cases and share our knowledge. So we want to thank this Medistream 360 for giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.